Okay, so how do we do it, honey? Do we first try the all out and then the Guinness? Well, are we testing the, uh, what's the word? The cheese in between the beers? Or? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should, don't you? Yeah, I think, I think the one Guinness. Step two, all out. Okay. Because the cheese is going to. Right, yeah. Okay, and then. Okay, this one's all out, going in alphabetical order. Yeah. All out, although one cannot see it, has no head. Guinness, despite being NA and despite having been poured nearly half an hour ago. Still has uh, quite a head. Ah, very nice. Good observations. So, all out. All out. The best beer. Nice roasted barley flavor to it. Got this excellent stout. Yeah, good Is round. It stout or an ale? It's a, well, an ale. Ale is the broader term. I realize that. It is a... The broader category is ale, although that doesn't really apply to this because it's not fermented. Well, I don't... I don't know if they remove the alcohol or if they formulate it. Right, which but, makes all the difference. But the difference between ale and lager is top fermenting at room temperature versus bottom fermenting at um, a chilled lagering temperature. The ale descends from heaven. Yes, it certainly <laughs> does. So also... I don't think either of us has stated for the record that the name, this ale, all out ale won first place in the right. competition. Ah, very beer good. Competition. Right, not an A. NA competition. Yeah. Beer competition. Yeah. I'll, truly, truly taste like All out is as good as any fermented stout. Yes. And yes. It's, it's, um, or I should say alcoholic. Line between whether I'm not certain if it's a there's a line between a dark ale and a stout. Yeah, there is. There is. Yeah. A stout. It's like Guinness, for example, with its head, or an oatmeal stout will also make a head. Right, yeah, so yeah. Does the fact that it's headless make it an ale or a no. non stout? No, 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 no. Stout refers basically to the I body. Present effects of a stout, although not part of the definition, was that head. No, it's not. The head is bonus. <laughs> say no more, say no more. Wink, wink, nudge, I'm nudge. Seven heads with ten crowns. <laughs> of course you were. Yes. All right, to cleanse the palate from the ale. I don't even want to say bass ale because bass is a boring one note beverage. However, it's not insipid. It's one note, not insipid. Right, right. This is so polyphonic. Oh yeah. The tip of the tongue, the, the the back of the tongue on the side and underneath it, the palate, meaning the mid palate, the vellum. Yeah, yeah. The uvula, um, the front and center tongue, which is definitely the tip of the tongue. I, I don't know, whatever it 
Chinese. There are no Chinese beds on the on the linings of the cheek, and yet it's as if I'm tasting the ale. Oh yeah, absolutely, it's, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and all of that is all of that. Strong, like I said, that strong polyphonic flavor. Oh. Sometimes it's absent in even a really good cream salad. Yeah. So I'm intrigued. Taste differences after. Mm -hmm. What are you using to cleanse your background? Um, the um, lemon and tea sparkling water. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay, shall we? The same verb in French is leave and partake. Oh. You know, Take off. Yeah. Partake. Oh, nice. Press it. <laughs> Very authentic. That's amazing. That's just like the alcoholic Guinness. It, it truly is. I mean, yes, I noticed the lack of alcohol flavor, but the beer flavor is a hundred percent the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, yes, alcohol has a taste, but its effects on how one um, perceives a beverage are beyond taste. It just changes the way that one experiences it. And that's really the main difference that I noticed between this and fully leaded Guinness Stout. Also, I was right, by the way, that the Guinness is a, say, a Quimpus coral. Yes. As polyphonic uh, as the All Out. But it is polyphonic exactly where you would expect a stout, especially oh, a Guinness. Guinness is the definition of a stout. It really, it's the baseline, if you will, or the exemplar. Yeah, yeah. And of a river band of flavors three quarters of the way back on the tongue, under, on its sides of the top. We get the top sides of the top center. It's literally a band of green stout flavor. I do not know if I think that what Peter was describing is alcohol is one case to ability to uh, change either the taste or the perception thereof. The Heisenberg would certainly crystal or I guess it would be more like the Heineken. Oh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs>
alcohol. It's Mr. Alcohol Hickson. You don't know that the sword so quickly that the tiniest bit of sensory um, deprivation occurred. Mm -hmm. It's the alcohol causes all of these flavors in the mouth and tongue. Yeah. That's very apt, yes. Yeah. 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 Quite so. Quite so. Okay.